Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Sea Dragon Slayer. My name is Kira, and thank you so much for joining me today. This is my second floss tube, and I'm really, really excited about it. So last week, I recorded my very first floss tube, and I loved it. I really enjoyed doing it. I put it out online, and I got a lot of subscribers. I got a lot of people who liked it. I got some people who commented on it. Um, and it was amazing. I knew that my friends and family would watch it, but to have um, new friends to find my channel and watch my videos was absolutely amazing. And I loved it. And I said that I was going to do a floss tube every two weeks, but I decided I wanted to do it a little bit more often. And because I also got some packages, which I wanted to open up with you guys. And I did in the video that I recorded this morning, but that video, something janky was going on. I'm still learning how to record and edit and all that fun stuff. And the video, it didn't, it didn't work out. It was really, really, really choppy. Um, yeah, so I have stuff to show you from packages that I opened up today. Uh, sorry that I've seen these before um, because I did open them up in the previous video. That didn't work. I'm learning. <laughs> it's a learning curve. Um, watching floss tube, I don't think a lot of people realize just how much goes into it. Um, I knew a lot went into it, but I, I didn't know that it was this much of a learning curve. I don't consider myself a tech guru, but at the same time, I also feel that I'm fairly tech advanced, um, which I'm finding out that I'm not really as far as with videos go. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to continuing this um, sorry, I keep touching my face. I have really bad allergies and everything itches. Um, I'm getting that worked on right now, uh, as well as you can't really see it today, but I have a gland or a thyroid or a lymph node. I'm not sure exactly what it is that has been swollen for Monday will be two weeks. Um, I went to the doctors about that as well. They did an ultrasound, blood work, still writing on results um, with COVID. Everything's kind of delayed on that front. Um, in addition to that, I'm just like a medical hot mess. Um, my neck is doing good. Uh, this is something that I didn't post in my video, but I did post on uh, my social media. A couple weeks ago, I had a biopsy done on the back of my neck because um, there was a new-ish mole that was there that just kind of brought me some concern. I go to the dermatologist a lot. Um, I was born with a birthmark and I do like to keep an eye on that because um, I do know that sometimes can grow into something concerning. I also have had a spot on my arm removed that came back fine, but then the one on my neck was really bothering me, so I went in and they did a biopsy and it did come back cancerous. Uh, it was just basal, carcin uh, basal cell carcinoma, which is one of the most common types of skin cancers. And if treated, um, and by treated, I mean they just go in and cut a lot out. Um, it doesn't usually lead to anything super serious. Uh, so... It's healed, it's doing really good. Um, when they went in the second time to get all of it out, they definitely cut on the side of caution. I had 10 stitches in the back of my neck <clears throat> and I was joking with my friend and I was like, hey, look, I'm all ready for Halloween. I'm gonna be like Frankenstein's monster with all my stitches, but my stitches are out. It's healed, it's doing good. Test results came back um, cancer-free, so which is awesome. But a little PSA, check yourself. Um, it's October, which is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Check yourself, men and women. Um, it's really surprising to me how many people um, still don't realize that men can get breast cancer. Um, so I know there's a lot going on right now with um, 
COVID and lockdowns and depending on where you're at and you have a lot of mental stress that you need to be working on um, and that you're focused on everything mental wise, but also it's important to check your body, check your physical health. Um, don't let that go unnoticed. If something looks weird, if you can't go to the doctor right now, keep an eye on it, take notes, um, do what you can, be healthy, be healthy, please. So in addition to that, <laughs> some fun stuff um, uh, that I've been up to recently was is last Friday, my fiance and I went out to an event that a friend of ours did. Uh, we have a local art community and studio workspace, show space um, that is absolutely amazing. It's called Taps Outpost. And our really good friend was doing a poetic lecture um, Friday and Saturday. So we went out Friday night and we wore our masks. They did it in their outside venue, so it was really, really spaced out. Um, we are going out and about. Sometimes we do go out to eat, things like that. We always wear our masks. We always make sure that we're social distancing. Uh, we also make a point to not see anybody that um, are at risk. Like my parents recently drove from Michigan to Florida and in the past when I lived in South Carolina, they'd always swing by and say hi. We decided not to have them come by. Uh, and as much as I would love to, or we would both love to go see um, in-laws that live in Georgia, which is literally the next state over, we're just being cautious and um, we're not seeing them until, until hopefully things improve, improve um, soon. I know it's not going to be soon, but it will. It will get better. Um, so just a little little tidbit in there. I know it's so saturated right now and you probably don't want to hear it, but make sure that you're being safe. And if you are going out, even though you are being safe, still be conscious of who you then go visit and see. So anyway, my friend's show that he did... Um, his uh, stage name is Six, the number Six IXX. He did an amazing, it's called a poetic lecture. Um, I'm not sure if you know what those are, but essentially it's a cross between a poet poetry and a lecture. And I'll put a picture of his um, poster here. It was a uh, titled Six Presents the Ballot or the, Bo or the Bullet, a Poetic Lecture on the History of Voting Suppression in America. And it was amazing. It really was. Uh, there's a lot going on. I know a lot of channels go into a lot of politics and everything like that. I don't really want to get a whole lot into it, um, but I do feel that there's always room for education. Um, he brought up a lot of really good points. Uh, he did a really great job showcasing it. He also had video in the background um, and video segments throughout his presentation. It was it was really educational. Um, it was it was moving. It was inspiring. Um, it was awesome. It it was really great to have something like this in our community, and have it was a pretty good turnout. And have a good turnout of people who are there to support and or to be more. Um, educated on the topics at hand. Uh, his website is imsixx.com. I will put in my link haven. I highly recommend you checking it out. Uh, he does have some small videos on there as well as a little bit more about who he is and what he does and where he's from and everything like that. And with that being said, go vote. Um, my fiance and I went and voted early a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm not sure every area is different as far as when their early voting closes, but 
go about, uh, if there's a line, take your stitching with you. I take my stitching everywhere with me and stitch while you wait. Wear your mask, stand in line and stitch and go vote. Um, it's so important and it's a right that a lot of people recently got. I mean, in the whole timeline scheme of things, voting was not something for everyone that like everybody got the opportunity to do. So it's, it's your right and it's an amazing right and it's what, what you need to do. So I'm not going to tell you which way to vote or anything like that. Just educate yourself, please. Um, and go vote. Every vote counts. Yeah. PSA. Boo. Done. Okay. <laughs> go vote. So moving on. Um, Otherwise, this around here, we haven't been doing much. It's been a little chilly. I got a new super, super fuzzy jacket. So um, it's from Cool K H K U with umlauts HL. And it's awesome. It zips up. And it has a hood. And it has thumb holes. So, I think I'm ready. Um, <laughs> it's not quite that chilly in here, but it is chilly enough to have it on. I also, it has tons of pockets. I added my little zipper pull to it. Um, so I'm excited to be able to wear that and show that off. So yeah, uh, it's been it's been chilly. Um, we've been taking walks occasionally in the evenings. I'd like to say every day, but I've been kind of lazy lately. But I hope to get back into it, especially since the weather is nice. And let's get into some stitchy stuff. Sorry, it's been uh, it's been 12 minutes, and I I've just been rambling. <laughs> hope that's okay. Uh, FFOs fully finished objects um don't have any fo's finished objects don't have any either i'm working on a lot of whips um a lot of stitch alongs right now so as far as finishing projects go um it's probably going to be a little bit before i have some but stay tuned i will have some my current whips that I am working on. So last week I said that I wanted to stitch one more fish on my Dark Queen of the Sea Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Citry. That I wanted to keep up with my Halloween Stitch Along by Stitchonomy. And that I wanted to do two blocks of my Peppermint Purple Stitch Along. So... I did kind of decent with my goals. Sorry, I'm reaching. I did my second fish. And you think being the second time I'm recording this this morning, I would be a little bit more prepared. I did my second fish. And it turned out amazing. So this is Dark Queen of the Sea Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. They are um, on pattern two right now, uh, which is the start of the body of the person. Hashtag it's not a mermaid stitch along. Um, I love I love this. I'm loving stitching on it. It's going really, really quickly. I was worried about it because there is lots of colors mixed in there, but I stitched this fish in no time at all. Um, and by no time at all, as I discussed in my last video, I don't consider myself a slow stitcher. I consider myself a distracted stitcher, um, meaning that I'll be stitching on something and I'll pick up my phone and get distracted. Or if my fiance is playing a video game, I'll get caught up in whatever he's doing. But I'm really enjoying this. This week, I want to stitch a little bit more on it. I do have some other projects that are going to be kind of prioritized above this. I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the third fish or if I'm going to start working on part two. 
I'm not really good at um, counting over a lot of spaces. And I did notice that in the group, a lot of people had to rip out fish because um, they didn't count properly. I also see that there's um, stitch markers that essentially look like fancy little pins with like rubber caps that you can use. I've never seen anybody use them. Um, if you have used them, let me know. Do you like them? Do they work? How do you use them really except just counting over and putting a pin in there? I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, I might be working on that, but this is uh, Dark Queen of the Sea Stitch Along by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Um, I dyed the fabric myself. It's 28 count opal essence, and I did an ice dye on that. The other thing that I worked on a bit was my Stitchonomy Halloween Stitch Along. I am a Patreon member, which means that I get patterns released ahead of schedule. Um, currently as a Patreon member, all of the patterns are released. I obviously did not catch, uh, keep up as well as I'd hoped to. Um, but I am leaving some blocks blank where I was kind of so-so on the design pattern. And I intend to, once I finish stitching up the patterns that she designed that I liked, I was going to go back through the Facebook group and pick out patterns that other people had done that I really like. That's one thing that I like about uh, Alyssa from Stitchonomy. She's really big on um, you expressing your own creative input on things. Um, she's totally fine with you taking an idea of like this haunted house. I've seen some people do it differently. So she's really open to you taking that idea and running with it and doing your own thing with it, which is awesome. So I do hope to do a few more blocks on this. Um, I just, I really like how it's turning out. It's really cute. I did, since you've seen me last, I done Haunted House, the coffin, which was originally brown. I turned it black and then the skeleton. They're not in this right order that she put out. Um, just because I wasn't paying attention when I started stitching <laughs> on some of them. But I'm really enjoying it. Um, all of my white glows in the dark, which is really cool as well. Once I'm finished stitching it, I hope to take a daylight picture and a night picture to kind of really see it. My grime guard my mom made for me, which is awesome. And yeah, this is this is a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure she's going to be doing a winter stitch along, so keep an eye out uh, with uh, Stitch On Me. A lot of times there's they are free to sign up um, within like a certain date and then after that you can always join her Patreon uh, membership and get the pattern too as well as additional perks and everything. So something else that I found that I was stitching on uh, this week is something that I kind of forgot about because I had started stitching on it way back when when I first started and by way back when I mean like a year ago <laughs> I'm a fairly new stitcher and it's this this is Gigi he's from Kiki's delivery service that's who I have um sitting on my orch jar over here uh this is a pattern designed by harp seal uh harp seal cross stitch on Etsy Again, everybody who I mentioned, I'm going to be putting into my link haven. And if for some reason you don't see them, let me know because I might have missed over somebody. But this is Halloween Gigi. Um, and it's on 14 count Ada. And I don't like stitching on 14 count Ada anymore. But I think it's adorable and I really want to keep stitching on it. I don't plan on finishing it for this Halloween. Um, I have this much DMC 10, uh, 310 left in this kit. I mean, I have other, I have tons of DMC 310, but, and by tons, actually I don't have a lot, but I, I have access to it. Um, but I've decided that I am not gonna stitch on anything else until I finish up that amount of black, which is not a lot. And I'm keeping it in this adorable 
knitted Totoro and Soot Sprite uh, bag that my sister made for me because they're both uh, Miyazaki films. And yeah, I decided that I'm going to not work on anything else until I finish all of this black, which honestly isn't a lot. And I might work on a little bit more, but that's my goal. So it's adorable. I really like how it's coming along. Uh, Harp Seal Cross Stitch does a lot of really, really cute patterns. Um, and if you're into uh, Studio Ghibli or Miyazaki films, uh, she has some really, really cool patterns there. So that are those are um, my current cross stitch whips. So something else that I worked on yesterday, um, I did post a picture on my social media. So um, see the uh, the sea dra sea dragon underscore layer um, is where I post my stuff. I have links down below. But I was working on these cute little fish. So my work is doing a Halloween event, um, which kind of mixed feelings on, especially with everything that's going on right now with COVID. But I, I work at a, um, a vending company facility where most of our workers are out in the field every day anyway. And we do take precautions with sanitizing everything and masks and way more than probably a lot of places do because we do handle food and we do go around and see a lot of people. I mean, I just work in the office part of it, but I do interact with the drivers and things like that. But we are going to do a Halloween event um, and it's going to be where they can bring their families. We're kind of going to do it carnival style so we can kind of try to wrangle the kids a little bit better. And my booth is going to be uh, magnet fishing. So I made these little fish and I did them skeletons to be like Halloween style. And on the back, I have six different colors. So I have matching colors and then they're numbered one through 12. So there's different games that I can play instead of just like pick up a fish. I'd be like, pick up, find like the matching fish or number six or something like that. So there is a um, piece of paper clip in here. So it's magnetic then, and then the pole will have a magnet on it. Um, they were really fun to make. I'm contemplating about starting up my blog again. I used to have a blog, um, but I'm not very good at writing. So I kind of stopped my blog. Um, but I might post some crafty things that I do and tutorials and stuff, and that might be one. So this week, I really need to do my costume. Um, I have a suitcase full of costumes, which are backups, but I'm thinking that I want to be a mermaid skeleton. Uh, just because I'm doing the fish and everything like that, I thought that would tie in really cool. And so most of this week, I will probably be working on my costume. But we will see. Other than that, as far as like my plans this week, um, I want to get two more blocks of my peppermint purple done, which I'll show you more of that. Um, at the end of my video, I do a section called presents. And that is where I can show off things that I am making for people. Um, and that way people who get gifts from me can stop watching so they don't spoil it. And my peppermint is for someone. So I will show that off at the end. But yeah, Halloween costume, peppermint purple, stitch on me Halloween. And hopefully a little bit of the Dark Queen stitch along. Um, we will see if I get to it. Because first and foremost, I need to do my GG. I also got a, another pen pal. So I need to stitch something for them. But anywho. Now for the fun part. My haul. I wish it would be a little more fun because it was a lot of fun like opening them up with you guys in my previous video, um, which 
didn't work, but I will try to make it just as fun when I open it. So the first thing that I ordered, um, I ordered a pin and this is from Bastilio Crafts and this is their business card, Bastilio Crafts. And the pin that I got was called a Groove Click Pin. And I really, really like how they put the refill on there. Um, I've had pins before where they were really nice pins. And I used up the ink and then I couldn't find another cartridge for it. So I like how she put that. In the package, I got this card. And she like hand wrote on it. Um, Have a very happy birthday. Thank you for supporting our small business. It's not my birthday. Um, my birthday's in May, but I might have put on there that I had some like birthday money to spend. Um, so that might be why she put it. But I really do appreciate when somebody writes, takes the time to write. I I know like they're probably busy with orders um, because their stuff is amazing. That I really appreciate that. And then I mean. Who's to say you can't celebrate your birthday year round? My birthday is the 3rd of May. So I decided that like I can celebrate the whole month of May and like my birthday being near the beginning, I get like the whole month. So why not just extend that to the whole year? I mean, especially with everything going on right now. Every day is your birthday or happy unbirthday uh, if you're an Alice in Wonderland fan. But it came in this really nice velvet pouch. <sighs> And this is it. It's sparkly and it's blue and it reminds me of the ocean or the galaxy and it's just a little quick pen. It has black ink in it. Um, I only write in black ink. Uh, blue ink for some reason I just I can't stand and then red ink always just makes me Flash back to all my horrible English papers that were graded. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's gorgeous. They have lots of different styles on their websites. They don't do just pins. Uh, they also have seam rippers, which I think is how I initially found her on a quilting group. Um, she had posted some of her seam rippers. Uh, but she does seam rippers. She does writing pens and she also has diamond pens so if you're into diamond painting definitely check them out um so that was the first thing that i got the next thing that i'll show off is i did an order from rachel ray crafts she also has a floss tube and she sells needle minders as well as uh diamond painting pens and some other accessories like that so in my package, I got some flower confetti. Um, they're paper flowers, which is awesome compared to like plastic confetti. She put in a really pretty flower sticker. This is all like additional to like what I purchased. She also put in this butterfly, this plastic butterfly sticker. She had talked about this on her video. She got these to turn into cover minders, which are like needle minders, um, but for like the diamond world. But she said that it didn't pass crop quality control. So she was just gonna put them in the packages for, um, for free. So that's really cute. He's 3D. And then I got candy, which I'm always up for candy. This is a... Um, milk chocolate covered biscuit bar filled with chocolate cream. I've never heard of them before. Uh, she's in Ireland, so this might be specifically an Ireland thing or a UK thing or something. I, I've never seen them in the States. But something that I love about this is on the back, there's a joke, kind of like a Laffy Taffy. And I thought this was hilarious. What do penguins wear to the beach. Flipper flops. <laughs> so I thought it was funny. Um, I, I love punny jokes like that. I always. 
I love punny things. <laughs> so that was that was really funny and made my day. Uh, hopefully it made yours. And go tell somebody that if even if you just get eye rolls, it's totally worth it. So moving on to what I actually ordered from her. I got two needle minders from her. It came on her business card, which is really, really pretty. I got the Black Lives Matter um, symbol. She is donating proceeds to that. Um, I want to say it's to the Boys and Girls Club, which is really awesome. And then I also ordered this squirrel um, origami uh, needle minder. I thought it was really adorable. And then with my family having our quilt shop, Happy Squirrel Quilts, I thought it was very appropriate that I would get, get it. But originally, I wanted to order... Um, the Black Lives Matter pen, especially since she was donating proceeds to that. And it's really nice. It has a nice large um, magnets on the back. And they're really, really strong too. Um, so I'm really excited to be using this. And I got one more package. So I did say I got a lot of packages. This, um, this is from Frosted Pumpkin uh, Stitchery. And I'm doing their Christmas uh, stitch along, their upcoming Christmas stitch along. I already had some fabric at home, so this is the fabric I'm gonna be doing it on. Uh, this is fabric that I dyed when I was up in Michigan uh, this past summer. I can't remember what I used to dye it. I wanna say it was like beet juice maybe. It was something natural. Um, so I had that piece already and I decided it was a pretty good color. I feel I did a floss toss with the floss that I do have for the project and it seems to work. So I'm doing that, but on their website, this is, this is them. If you haven't heard of them, the frosted pumpkin citry, they were doing kits. Uh, so you could purchase just the pattern, the PDF file, the pattern you could purchase the kit, which has the fabric and the pattern and the two things that I purchased separately. So one of the things, and you can purchase these separately if they still have them, um, are the buttons that go on the piece. Uh, they're pink and they have snowflakes on them. I thought they're really, really cute. And I also got their needle minder. They always do a needle minder with their um, stitch alongs. And this is the first one that I'm participating in. So I decided that I really wanted to get their needle minder. And it's adorable. It really is adorable. So I'm excited about that. Um, so again, you could get it as a kit with everything and fabric. Um, you can get just the pattern. Or you can also just get these guys, as long as they're still available. I can't remember. I know they sell out pretty quickly, but I think they do restock it. So keep an eye out. Um, it's really cute. The needle minder is, is really well made. It's wooden. It's a wooden needle minder. Um, but it's, it's adorable. So I'm really excited to have like an official needle minder on my project. So that is my haul. And my projects that I'm working on, um, minus my gifts. So I'm trying to kind of cut the time of my video down some. Um, so all that I have left is my presents section. So if you are family, close friends, or my pen pals, now is the time for you to stop watching. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, join in next time. I think I'm going to be doing these every week. We'll see. It takes a lot to like edit and record and like today, this is my second time recording it. So we'll see. Uh, either every week or every two weeks. And thank you so much for watching. For those of you who probably won't be receiving a gift from me, please continue to watch because I do have some really fun stuff to show off. So. With that being said, presents. Something that I've been talking about in my videos is my Peppermint Purple Stitch Long. So if you haven't heard of them, Peppermint Purple um, is a mainly black work site and company. 
Um, they have a Facebook group that is a free Facebook group. This is a free stitch along. Uh, this is going to be a gift for my dad. Uh, his birthday is in February, so I'm hoping to finish this by January 1st so I can get it framed. His birthday is at the end of February. So last week I did two more blocks. This week I want to finish off this row and do these two blocks. I'm a little bit behind, but I only have down to here to go. I think I there's like five, one, two, three, four, five rows left. Um, so I'm really, really enjoying this. I just, I put it down and I haven't picked it up in a while, but this is the first time I've done black work and it's a lot of fun. Uh, once you get in the groove of it, some, some blocks are easier than others, but I'm stitching this on 18 count black Ada, which again, this is my first black work and I didn't realize that kind of like the importance of the size so it's tiny it is tiny um, so I think it kind of loses a little bit of it but I'm enjoying it I think it's turning out really nice I just need to get it get going on it so I need to that's kind of need to be a priority project for me um, in addition to that I made my cards for my cross stitch pen pals so I painted up this one. This is for my pen pal in Australia. She really likes pugs. So I have her gifts made and done. Um, I showed them off in last video. So I just need to write her card and mail those off to her. And then I have a new pen pal. She's in the UK. And I painted this little card for her. She likes kawaii stuff so I thought this is really cute. Um, I've gotten the ideas for both of these cards online, um, but I did draw and uh, watercolor, use watercolors to paint them. So yeah, they're really cute. Um, I need to make a cross stitch for my UK pen pal, and I plan on making a little tag um, cross stitch. And I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I will make sure I probably will post a video of it because I'm hoping to get it mailed off next week. So I need to figure it out and stitch it. Something else is I'm doing a um, Christmas gift exchange and the person that I'm uh, exchanging with likes dachshunds. So I got this little wooden um, ornament from mm -hmm. Joann's with my coupon. It was like... Uh, less than a dollar and I plan on stitching a little dachshund with a Christmas sweater and putting it on the back. Um, I have a couple patterns that I like so I just need to figure out which one I'm going to stitch but again that's a tiny cross stitch so it should go pretty quickly. And one last thing is actually something that I need your help with. <laughs> My mom um, recently found a whole bunch of these acrylic coasters from the thrift store and she got them for me. They um, are three inches. The, the hole is three inches. And I'm going to be doing these as presents for um, some of my family members as well as some of my friends. And I'm just looking for small patterns. I found some and I'll probably design a couple of my own. But if you know of a shop or if you yourself have patterns that will fit inside of a three inch spot, let me know. I'll probably stitch on 28 count. So I do have the potential of doing one over one. I prefer not to because I do want to stitch them up pretty quickly because it's already October. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any. I don't know where you can get this specific one from, this uh, coaster, because my mom did get them from a thrift shop, but I have seen like Yarn Tree has something similar to it, and I'm sure you can find other shops that have something similar to it as well. But that's all I have for, to show you uh, this week. Thank you so much for sticking around and for watching my video. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy recording these. Um, as frustrating as it was this morning, recording and finding out it didn't work right, it happens. I'm learning. It'll probably happen many, many videos from now. It happens. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, make comment on something. What, what do you like about the video? What don't you like about the video? What do you want to see more of? Have any questions? Let me know. Um, I'm trying to post links on my link haven to everybody that I've mentioned in the video so you can find um, the products if you like them or just check out the information like my friend Six, his website is going to be on the link haven so if you want to just check out other things that I mentioned. If you don't see something on the link haven that I have mentioned that you are interested in, please let me know. Um, I am human. I do miss things. So yeah, that's about all. Thank you so much guys for watching and thank you for joining me at the Sea Dragon's Lair. You guys have a crafty week and talk to you later. Bye.